So you got a hand for us, Nate? <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a 2.5 1K cap. All right. So 2.5 1K cap. Incense in your normal room? Uh, this is a private game. Oh. Private game, huh? Five. Heavily raked or what? Uh, it's actually um, $100 for the night to play. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So 2.5 1K so- cap. Yep. I have King Jack of Spades, and I'm in the cutoff. Okay. And we get a uh, under the gun limps, a loose passive, sticky villain limps from the low jack. Okay. High jack limps. Okay. And I go to forty from the cutoff. So I assume usually the standard is like say maybe fifteen or twenty without limps or something like that. Yeah, correct. How deep are you guys, by the way? Uh, 1K. You're a 1K effective. Okay. I mean, sure. Absolutely. I mean, if I'm going to 20 and then there's one, two, three people that limp in, I'm usually adding a limper. Yeah, I would have probably made it 42. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I thought it might have been a touch big, but with the low jack being sticky, I figured he's always calling. So I can go, you know, I'll probably normally go like 35, 40. Yeah, okay. All right. And then only low jack calls. So the low jack, who's the second limper, only calls. Correct. And this is the guy that's sticky that you're sort of targeting? Yes. Okay. Okay. So 5, 10, 15. So like this just under 100 in the pot, right? Maybe something like that? Yeah, it is like exactly 100 in the pot, okay. I think. All right. Heads up. In position. I like it. Okay. Right. And then on the flop, we get king of hearts, mm-hmm. 10 of diamonds, mm-hmm. 3 of diamonds. King of hearts, 10 of diamonds, three of diamonds. I, and he checked. Yeah. Okay. So low jack checks and flow. Definitely have, I literally, I had so many cancellations here at the last second. It was a weird day that I actually asked Nate uh, if he had any interesting hands, like what, less than 45 minutes ago, right, Nate? So I have absolutely no background about this hand whatsoever. What we would say here on Crush Live Poker is usually, we, we've talked about this a lot recently, single raise pots. <laughs> Usually on uh, two Broadway boards that are connected, um, you usually want to take somewhat of a large sizing to get uh, to get value uh, in a given situation. So I wouldn't be at all hesitant about taking a larger sizing, me usually like two thirds. I know you don't like the half pot size bet, Nate. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah I hate half pot bet. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's really good. Right? Yeah. So I go sixty five. Okay. And he calls, and I think we can even go 75, 80 if you want. That's what I was kind of thinking too. So Lojack calls. I mean, Lojack's not going to have Ace King here, right? Um, Yeah. So, I mean, once in a while you get in these spots where someone's flopped King 10, but, or like King Queen would be the only one where you maybe start value towning or across several streets and he over limp with like King Queen off and he's just playing it super passively. But there's a lot of other things that are going to call you because remember, I mean, people under, sort of understand this too. It's not like a 10 is going to fold here, right? So you got all the gut shots, flush draws, weaker Kings, 10 X. There's a lot of stuff that can call you. We're at two thirty here to the turn. Right. And on the turn, we get the queen of spades. Interesting card. So King 10, three queen. So obviously now, you know, you turn open-ended, right? With King Jack right. and it, I mean, obviously it can, it, there's less likely now that he has King Queen, right? I mean, you know, you can lose, I mean, you can be behind now to Queen 10, right? Jack nine is a gut shot or maybe like a limped in ace Jack, but I don't think this one is quite as scary to make me kind of check this one back for the reasons of, because there's a fair, uh, it's still like some Queen Jacks and stuff. They're going to get calls from Jack 10 types of holdings here too. I think this is a card where I'm not going to go crazy. Put it this way. Like I'm still going to be doing a fair amount of betting, but I think I want to keep my sizing here in check as opposed to maybe liberally going larger. Like if it was a brick deuce or something like that, maybe I might not take such a large sizing here on the turn, but I still think I I might do a fair amount of betting. I assume low jack checks to you. Yeah, yeah, he checked to me. And um, like you said, I thought there was still a lot we can get value from, and there's a couple hands we're now behind. Yeah. Clean Queens now two pair, but I went 195, which is probably too big. You took a larger sizing. Yeah, the only only reason why I say that is just, I mean, obviously, like, if he has a, 
<laughs> here's the thing, right? So now the only king that he really has, unless he's just really, really loose, like, and he's playing up and down, like king eight, king seven, king six types of holdings, right? I was going right. to say it's like king nine. I mean, if you think you're still going to get the calls from like queen jack here in jack 10, by all means, I just, I kind of, I don't want like jack 10 to fold here. Some of these other pair plus straight draw types of um, car uh, things. I mean, put it this way. Like if you go one night, you, so you said you went 195. Yeah. So if he calls again, are you, because you've taken this large sizing, are you checking back at the end? I'm going to check back a fair amount of rivers here, uh, depending on what we get. If we don't improve. Hmm. Okay. So you go 195 and? All right. So he calls. He tanks for a minute and calls. So, so we got. Okay. Go that calls. So what is it like? 390 plus 230 is what? 620? 620 in a pot. Okay. And we get the jack of hearts. Jack of hearts. By the way, Hero has uh, maybe like 700 left in a stack, just over a pot size bet. And then we get a pretty bad run out here for value. So it's King 10, 3, Queen Jack. And uh, one liner to an ace, one liner to a nine. And now what happens? Okay, so he checks to me. Okay, so Will Jack checks. Ooh, I love some thin value here. Am I thinking that he might have Queen Jack here? Um, yeah, or that um, we're beating queen 10 now. And he only just check called because he, um, because of the fact that you took such a large sizing here. It's quite interesting because I'm assuming that you just think that, and this is a live tendency thing that he's just, he's not doing much. Just like, by the way, one of the other hands that we didn't talk about was the nut flush draw on the flop that check calls, right. That turns a gut shot on the turn. Are you just thinking that most of the time he's leading here with an ace? Yeah, I thought he would lead an ace here a ton. So I go into the tank thinking about if I should bet this card or not. Right. And I, I think a lot of his ace X leads. You don't you don't but think... I do think he has some nines laying around as well that we just value it ourselves with. Well what you mean like nine ten? I mean I think maybe. The, I think the critical kind of interesting part of this is that how this hand would would shape differently on the river if you had only bet like say 75 on the turn right instead of 195 because it's kind of interesting that you might find a val I could almost see value betting here more so on the river when you bet large on the turn than if you bet small and the reason why that is is because I don't expect a whole lot of nine X here to call yeah. the turn unless yeah, it was like King I, nine, you know? Yeah. I think he has King nine and he has some nine X of diamonds. Possibly. Nine X of diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, here's the thing. What it would take for me to make this value bet is I would need to be fairly confident that an ACE is leading with a very high frequency. Right. And also that he's such a station. That he's going to call down with worse, even though he's staring in the face the fact that an ace is a straight. Because the issue here is, is that what is he beating when you go three streets? And even if he's not thinking at this level, when you go three streets on this particular run out, any idiot can see an ace is a straight, right? right? So if you're thinking about going sort of value, I mean, it's got to be tiny, 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 right? Two? Yes. Um. So you're losing the king queen, you're beating queen 10, you're beating queen jack. I don't think he has much 9x. I don't know, Nate. I'm all for trying to make super, super thin value bets here. But you now what if I had king queen? And it's kind of funny. It's like, well, is king queen any different than a set here? When you're looking at this, is king queen any uh, different than a set? When you're thinking about like really. value betting. Yeah. So, I mean, the only difference between King Jack and King Queen is you're losing to King Queen. But again, eh, but you took such a large sizing on the turn. I do wonder if King Queen, if you still might have, um, if you might have some King Queens that he decides just to check call because you took such a large sizing. And we're not talking about Nate turning his hand into a bluff. He's trying to go figure out if he's going to go ultra thin here somehow. I, I, I think I checked this one back, Nate, here. Okay. Yeah. What'd you do? Yeah. 
so I actually thought about it for a while and did check it back. Okay. Um, it was just hard to find. I couldn't think of exactly what he would call with it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, we know the hands we beat, but is he calling yeah. with it? And when I roll over my hand, he rolls over Queen Jack off. Yeah. And when I roll over my hand, he says, oh, I thought you were going to bluff the ace. Oh, God. That's the worst race. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you were going to go super, super thin for value. I, I, again, I think it's a spot where could we even cut it so close and say that King Queen is a value bet, but King Jack isn't because of the fact that you beat King Jack if you had King Queen. It's I, it's kind of that think- close. I do think it, it could be that close because, you know, King Queen, we do maybe value on ourselves every now and again and would probably call. If we have King Queen, maybe we get King Jack calls. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's an interesting one, Nate. Thanks thanks for calling in on the uh, on short notice. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, Bart. Of course, Nate is one of uh, our favorite uh, content creators over at Crush Live Poker. Does... Uh, at least one video a a month. We're trying to work him into the regular podcast sort of rotation and looking forward to hear more from him. We've got a lot of sort of things coming up down the pipeline to crash live poker, a little bit of revamp of the, of the coursework coming up and Nate, I'm sure will be a big part of that. Well, 